never thought I'd die at 12 years old. But there I was, lying in a hospital bed, feeling weaker by the minute. The doctor said I had a rare disease. They tried everything they could, but nothing worked. My parents were crying next to me, holding my hands. I wanted to tell them not to be sad, but I couldn't speak. My eyes felt heavy, and then everything went dark. Suddenly, I felt light as a feather. I opened my eyes and saw that I was floating above my body. I could see my parents and the doctors around my bed. They looked upset. I wanted to tell them I was okay, but they couldn't hear me. Then a bright light appeared in the corner of the room. It was the prettiest thing I'd ever seen. The light got bigger and brighter, and I felt drawn to it. As I got closer, I felt warm and happy. All my worries and fears went away. I floated into the light, and everything changed. I was in a beautiful garden. The colors were brighter than anything on earth. The grass was the greenest green, and the flowers were every color you can imagine. Some colors I'd never seen before. The air smelled sweet, like a mix of flowers and fresh bread. I heard soft music playing. It sounded like a thousand angels singing. The music made me feel peaceful and loved. I knew I was in a special place. As I looked around, I saw a man walking towards me. He was wearing a white robe that seemed to glow. His face was kind, and his eyes were full of love. I knew right away that this was Jesus. I'd seen pictures of him in church, but seeing him for real was different. He was more real than anything I'd ever known. Jesus smiled at me and said, Welcome, my child. I've been waiting for you. His voice was gentle and warm. It made me feel safe and happy. I wanted to hug him, and as soon as I thought it, I was in his arms. It felt like the best hug ever, like all the love in the world was wrapped around me. Jesus took my hand and we started walking through the garden. The grass felt soft under my feet, and each step made me feel stronger and healthier. We came to a big tree with golden fruit. Jesus picked one and gave it to me. Eat, he said. This is the fruit of life. I took a bite and it was the yummiest thing I'd ever tasted. It was sweet and juicy, and it made me feel full of energy. As I ate, I remembered all the questions I had about heaven and God. I wanted to know everything. Jesus, I said, can I ask you some questions? He smiled and nodded. Of course, my child, what would you like to know? I thought for a moment. There were so many things I wanted to ask, but one question stood out. When will the world end? I asked. Jesus looked at me with kind eyes. That's a big question, he said. It's not something to be afraid of, but something to look forward to. It means I'll be coming back to earth to make everything right. I nodded, trying to understand. But how will we know it's happening? Jesus smiled. There will be signs, he said. People will hear about wars and natural disasters. Many will turn away from God. But those who love God should not be afraid. They should be ready and keep doing good things. What happens after the world ends? I asked. After that, Jesus said, there will be a new heaven and a new earth. All the bad things will be gone. There will be no more sadness, pain, or death. Everyone who loves God will live with him forever. I thought about that for a while. It sounded amazing, but I still had more questions. What about the people who don't believe in God? I asked. Jesus looked sad for a moment. God loves everyone and wants everyone to be with him. But he also gives people the choice to love him back. Those who choose not to be with God will be separated from him. That's why it's important to tell others about God's love. While there's still time. I nodded, feeling the importance of what Jesus was saying. So... What should we do while we're waiting for the world to end? Jesus smiled brightly. Live your life with love, he said. Love God with all your heart and love others as you love yourself. Help people who are in need. Forgive those who hurt you. Pray and read the Bible to know God better. And always remember that I am with you, even when you can't see me. We walked some more through the beautiful garden. 
I saw other people there too. They all looked happy and peaceful. Some were singing, others were talking and laughing. It felt like one big happy family. As we walked, I saw a big book on a golden stand. It was the biggest book I'd ever seen. What's that? I asked Jesus. That's the book of life, he said. It has the names of all the people who love God and follow him. I was curious. Is my name in there? Jesus smiled and nodded. Yes, it is. And so are the names of many others. But there's still room for more. We kept walking and came to a crystal clear river. The water sparkled like diamonds. This is the river of life, Jesus said. Its water gives life to everything in heaven. I bent down and touched the water. It felt cool and refreshing. When I stood up, I felt even stronger and happier than before. As we walked along the river, I saw many animals. There were lions playing with lambs and eagles soaring in the sky. None of the animals seemed scared or hungry. They all looked peaceful and content. In heaven, Jesus explained, all of creation lives in harmony. There's no fighting or hurting each other here. We came to a big, beautiful city. The walls were made of precious stones and the streets were paved with gold. But the gold was clear, like glass. I could see my reflection in it. This is the new Jerusalem, Jesus said. It's where God lives with his people. The city was full of light. There was no sun or moon, but everything was bright. Jesus explained that God's glory gives light to the whole city. As we walked through the city, I saw many people I recognized from Bible stories. There was Moses, David, and Mary. They all smiled and waved at me. I felt so happy to be among them. We came to a big throne in the center of the city. It was more beautiful than anything I'd ever seen. This is God's throne, Jesus said. From here, he rules with love and justice. I looked at the throne in awe. I could feel God's presence all around me. It was overwhelming, but in a good way. I felt completely loved and accepted. As we stood there, I heard voices singing. It was the most beautiful music I'd ever heard. Angels and people were praising God together. The sound filled me with joy and I wanted to join in. Jesus looked at me and said, It's almost time for you to go back. I felt sad. I didn't want to leave this wonderful place. Do I have to? I asked. Jesus nodded. Yes, my child. You still have work to do on earth. People need to hear about God's love. You can tell them what you've seen here. I understood, but I was still a little scared. Will it hurt to go back? I asked. Jesus hugged me again. No, it won't hurt. And remember, I'll always be with you, even when you can't see me. He took my hand and we started walking back through the garden. As we walked, Jesus gave me one last piece of advice. Remember, he said, no one knows when the world will end. But that's not the most important thing. What's important is how you live each day. Love God, love others, and be ready for when I come back. I nodded, feeling both sad to leave and excited to share what I'd learned. As we got closer to the bright light, Jesus stopped and looked at me. Are you ready? He asked. I took a deep breath and nodded. I'm ready, I said. Jesus smiled and hugged me one last time. Go with my blessing, he said. And remember, I love you always. With that, I felt myself floating back through the light. Everything got blurry for a moment, and then I opened my eyes. I was back in my body in the hospital bed. My parents were still there, looking worried. I took a deep breath, and they gasped. The doctors rushed over, looking surprised and happy. My parents hugged me, crying tears of joy. I knew I had a lot to tell them about what I'd seen. But more than that, I knew I had an important job to do. I needed to share God's love with others and live each day as if it could be the last. Even though I didn't know when the world would end, I wasn't scared anymore. I knew that whatever happened, Jesus would be with me. And one day, I'd see that beautiful garden again.